Oh, it's so exciting. Beautiful weather. Undefeated football team. Third down, mask down. Let's get it. It's a serious question. A, we know it's absurd. It's tongue-in-cheek. But yes, like who are you rooting for in this Thursday night game? Because the Lions benefit either way. Right. It's, a tie does not help them. No, but it is absurd in week two to talk like this. But damn it, we've earned it. It's some form of math calculation that mm. if they're suffering this long, we get to do this in week two. If you're the only NFC team to walk into Kansas City and defeat Patrick Mahomes, you get to strut around like this. And the second part, because David and the church want no part of it, I've offered to make them some money. Um, this whole C.J. Gardner-Johnson ski mask routine, he's asked the fans to wear them. We're the villains. How many of these damn things are we going to see on Sunday? Now, I, I've made the point. I think we need to take it a level up. It is not hard for them to cut a video and have C.J. Gardner-Johnson like Batman bringing that mask down on third down and put it up on the video board. That's easy. We could do it in 10 minutes. I could send Evan down to the facility. It could be done. It's one shot. Hey, the same way that MSU could have a D'Antonio video on that board hey. for when the team comes out. Who's to say they don't? Me, that's who. Oh, you, you oh are you breaking news? No. I'm are not you breaking, breaking news? I am not breaking news. Are you breaking news? I'm not breaking news. The point I'm making yes, is. breaking news. TJ will wear a mask. I know he will. <laughs> Where'd he find one to fit that bulbous head of his? I was thinking that. <laughs> like, TJ putting a ski mask on, that's like fitting it over a toaster. Yeah, just take some bitch. Have you noticed in retirement how his head has now become basically a square block? It's like an ice cube. You have to think about it. He has no helmet to hold it in. So he it's, has no it's neck. Now, oh, it's now just so it's expanding just to what out. it actually oh, is. Dude, yeah. TJ is morphing into Vern Lundquist. He has no <laughs> neck. His... His head just attaches into his clavicles. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Are we going to wear masks on Fridays now for the show? We can. As long as we get rid of those shirts that we're supposed to wear. What's the Hawaiian shirts? Yeah, don't, no more Hawaiian shirts. Um, so they, they da David, it. David. Uh, are you aware what time of year is almost upon us? Oh, I thought this guy wore anything any time of the no, year. No, 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 no. In the fall, we go to Flannel Friday. Oh, got you. Okay, I'm just making sure with this guy. The ultimate in leisure. And the uh, championship belt make, make a debut during the picks to the winner of last week. Excellent. See, so many things happening. These are all the things that are keeping me alive since my football program's dead. Let's go to the people. Giants will bounce back. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's Come on, go, David. Do the dance. No. <laughs> go to Joe, 97. One. What's up, Joe? Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks what's for up? the call. Um, so, yeah, the ski mask thing could take on a whole new life of its own, and I've been thinking about this while I've been listening to you. And let's just say it segues over to baseball, and you go to Miguel Cabrera's last game in a couple weeks, and two guys into the booth take over the mic, and all of a sudden you start recognizing names like or, or phrases like, I see you, Veerling, I see you, Carpenter. And he takes off his mask, and it's Rod Allen, and the other guy takes off his mask, and it's Mario and Pemba, and they announced that we're back, and we're going to take over 2024 and 2025, okay. and we're going to take on any radio booth across the major league. Woo! <laughs> and then we're going to take Michigan. Right? Yeah! Hold on. Cue, <laughs> cue, yeah, cue up the Howard Dean. I know it's in the system. Joe has a wild fantasy. I don't know if you're getting Mario and Rod in the same room. I'll just tell you that. But... Yeah. Well, you'd have to put a ski mask on each one of them, blindfold each one of them, and say, hey, you're going to get a new gig here. Don't look. Jesus, but, yeah. Anyway, go, but, I, I would say go Vikings tonight because we play them two out of the last three games of the season. So my question is, how relevant do we want those games to be? I don't want them to even be anything. I want to lock this thing up. I want to be up three games right. with, two, with, with with three to go. And basically, right. but, but looking chaos at the, would have to ensue. Looking at the Vikings, I don't think that they will really be a problem for you. If you're a Lions fan, you need to look at the bigger picture. The I bigger just like sad is, Kurt Cousins reading Bible stories to his kid. Then you make him sad. I, I did. On. When the Giants beat him in the playoffs, no, no. and he goes and starts singing a gospel song to his kid, I'm going, this guy's priorities are insane. You just lost a home playoff game. God can wait. You clearly don't like it that much. You lost a home playoff game. That's not how it works. But I wanted him to be miserable, and he was still happy. How can you be happy after losing a home playoff game? Mike, maybe he just has joy in his heart. Then it waits a day. 
I'm sorry if I were a Viking fan, that would have bothered me greatly. Losing a home playoff game to the G-Men and this guy's just bebopping around? Oh, that would kill me. Oh, Mike. They would kill me. He's got a different philosophy. Whatever. He's saying, well, what would it profit a man to win a playoff game and lose his whole soul? Where the hell's that from? Well, paraphrase. You just made stuff up. David? There. I don't think it's there. It's there. It is there, Kenny. Look it up mm. and tell me it's not. I think David's adding pages to that New Testament. Um, I'm paraphrasing, but you he is know. paraphrasing, but it's, it's there. It's one of those, okay. if you know, then what, you know. What, what book is it in? Mike. No, no, what, what book is it in? Mike. Well, Zechariah? I mean, what, what are you making up a chapter? What do yeah, we got? Yeah, we're making it all. Psalms 49. It's Matthew 16 and 26. <laughs> oh, David from the top row. What would it profit a man to okay. gain the whole world and lose his soul? That's the verse. Is that Thanos? <laughs> yes, it's Thanos, Mike. <laughs> I knew I knew it. <laughs> you know what it is? Let's it's go. Avengers. Let's go to Bill. <laughs> Billy, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> Fellas, give me a minute. Let me put my mask on to take give you my take. You ready? <laughs> yeah, but that's that's the new policy, Billy. Right. Go ahead. Yeah, we're good. I I think the lawyers at Bodman who represent the Ford family are scrambling right now. And I and hear me out. I yeah. want everyone to wear a ski mask. I do. I think it would be completely badass. But I think the ushers are going to be busy telling everyone to take their masks off because you just need one bad actor oh, you're right. to do something stupid on the concourse, and then they say, who was it? It was a guy in a mask. And you're Bill, right. Bill, that's why I said, if you're going to do this, Detroit, yeah. you cannot. You, you got to police your neighbor, and you got to make gotta sure. Behave. Yeah, hey, we, we're not doing this. We're going to have fun today. Calm down, sit your butt down, and root for the Lions. True story, I, and I, I hope everyone does. I hope it, it plays well on TV, but fingers crossed. We'll see. Yeah, and it's tough to – Yeah, go ahead, Bill. Get to tonight, and then I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll go back to it. Yeah, tonight's game, I hope Minnesota absolutely takes them to the woodshed because, like the old college football conference argument, which is going to be completely disappearing here, it strengthens the division. When Detroit beats Minnesota, you can say, look – they waxed Philly, and then Detroit waxed Minnesota. Uh, don't do the transitive property routine now. Come on. A little bit. You can't You can't deny it. You can play to the lowest common denominator. <laughs> it works. It plays with people. Here's the thing with the ski masks. It's C.J. Gardner-Johnson who asked for it. So I wonder if they'll be confiscating. See, I don't know if you can, like, technically speaking, the SEC has banned cowbells. Yet Mississippi State, there's 40,000 cowbells at every game. I don't know how you're going to ban the ski masks. But, Bill, you're right. All it would take is one goofball, 17 drinks deep, and he ruins it for everybody. Yep. And the ushers are going to have the busiest day of their lives. Well, you know what? Hold on, though. This is interesting, Bill. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Cleveland Browns, the dog pound, mm -hmm. fans wearing masks, the black hole, Fans dressed in some form of, like, Roberto weird role-playing night at home in these Darth Vader outfits or whatever. They don't ban that stuff. Who was it? Well, it was a guy dressed in black with spikes on his head. I, I don't know. But it's not 20,000 people. There can't be 20,000. I don't think 20, there are 20,000 ski masks. Once again, we live in Michigan. People hunt all the time. I got a ski mask. I'm sure... You do? I'm, I'm shocked you don't have one. Why would I have a ski mask? When it's cold outside? You can act like a man. You go from your office to the car and your I'm car to home. I'm talking about when you're shoveling snow. You put a winter hat on like an adult. Who wears a ski mask? I do. What? Yeah, you actually ski mask. wear that? Th or, I, no, no. What I have now is a wrap that goes around and it covers your face. What are you like, JMO? You have that the head warmer thing? No. Like it goes over your, it covers your ears and all that? No. It's just a wrap and you you strap it back here and it goes right around here and it it covers your nose and down and your chin. Yeah. I really think you should be wearing a ski mask for tomorrow. I'll bring that wrap in. How about that? Yeah, I think you need to wear it. Okay. David, ski mask for tomorrow's show? Yep, I'll find one. I'll have one.
So you just go out in the wintertime, just yeah. hat on, yeah. not even a, a skull cap, just a regular ball no, cap. No, I'll wear a skull cap, oh, for okay. sure. But I don't, no, not the mask. And you probably come here looking like a cherry, right? No. Your skin, you're like freezing? Like, yeah, put the mask on, Mike. I'm you got good. a beautiful face. I'm good. Save it. Buddy, I'm not out there making a snow fort. I'm just clearing the driveway. All right. <laughs> this guy, what do you think I'm out there, turkey hunting like TJ? Yeah. <laughs> Is he wearing a mask? I bet you he shows up here in a mask tomorrow. I don't know if it's tomorrow. He'll be in a mask. Tomorrow. But it may be. It, there may be a mask for the uh, pregame show. Uh, by the way, to add before we get to the callers, I have an unbelievable Jared Goff statistic I would like to give you. Okay. As we hurdle towards game day. You, you're not going to want to miss this. This is a oh my goodness stat. I like this. Ah, it's a radio tease. 248-539-9797. It's 97 one.